Industrialization was the only cure for some of the ills of our rural economy. He prepared a scheme for rural industrialization which the Mysore government accepted and implemented. Over the years, he gave practical schemes or advice for the water supply of many towns in India. He was also responsible for the water supply schemes of Goa, Hyderabad, Sindh and Aden. Vishweshwaraya worked incessantly, preparing plans and schemes for the development of the country. He published several books and pamphlets. Waking or sleeping, he had only one thought in his mind, nation building. Vishweshwaraya travelled abroad several times. Wherever he went, his one consuming desire was to bring back technical know-how for the development of his own motherland. He gave his invaluable technical advice for the location of one of the colossal projects of recent times, the Ganga Bridge at Mokame in Bihar. He was past 90 when he undertook this work. His deep interest in the industrialization of the country led Vishweshwaraya to found the All India Manufacturers Organization in 1941. Its motto, Prosperity Through Industry. He wanted manufacturers in the country to develop initiative and build new industries with the help of modern methods of organization. As the founder president of the organization, Vishweshwaraya still keeps in close touch with its activities and gives the organization the benefit of his rich experience and wise counsel. A grateful nation has heaped honours on a man who has served the country in so many spheres. Knighthood, degrees, honoris causa, galore. When the centenary of his alma mater, the Central College in Bangalore, was celebrated, he was honoured as the oldest and the greatest living alumnus. The highest honour that an Indian citizen could receive, the award of Bharat Ratna came to him. In the citation he was hailed as the father of the idea of planned development in India. <laughs> 